Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another video. This time it's an installation guide for a huge beast of a ROM. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, this one is the Imperium V21. So this is going to be an installation guide. Let me just uh, install it. So it does have an aroma package, a huge one for that. The ROM size is 1.4 gigs. So that's huge for 4.3 ROM. This is a 4.3 ROM. Did I mention that? No. So uh, this is based on the XX UMK6, which is the latest fixed, fixed, I mean fixed version of Samsung um, 4.3 ROM for Galaxy S3. So there you have it. Uh, here is the information about the ROM. It is Imperium ROM version 21. My dude is 21. Date this for Galaxy S3 International. Other is Brothers Team. So yes. Now let's get into it. Now next, first of all, you get the change log. So in the 21 version, you see the um, f version that is the firmware. Uh, a lot of applications, a lot of tweaks, a lot of things. So yeah, you can read all of them if you want. So yeah. Let's go to the next page. So next page has wipe data. If you can, if you want to wipe everything, you can wipe data. If you don't want to, just click uh, install without wipe. I have already this one installed, so I'm not going to have this. Next. This one is the kernel selection. You can either uh, select or uh, flash the stock NK6 kernel, which is uh, which I didn't feel a huge problem with so you can use that or you can select not flash a kernel but you have to flash before the first boot so that's there something uh, like GX or uh, Boyafla kernel anything you have to flash before the first boot so I'm going to flash this I'm sorry next so you have kernel setting okay this uh, tweaks the kernel settings INITD files so that you have maximum performance balanced or battery saver so whatever you want you can select it here I'm going with performance battery saver nah not much of a battery freak now so you can have uh, clean the old kernel setting if you're coming from a previous version of Imperium or if you're coming from a previous version of a stock ROM you have you may need to clean your kernel settings so yeah that's it now you have a low memory killer preset okay um, Galaxy S3 kills the memory the applications running in the background if the memory goes below 72 megs right you can tweak that to uh, up to 159 megs so that is actually a crazy tweak so if your memory goes below 159 megs or 160 megs it frees up the memory to get it back up to uh, whatever ROM size and uh, being a stock ROM if you set it on 160 you can't multitask I don't see I don't see in any way you can multitask like if you are opening three apps it will already be below 100 uh, that's my experience with um, stock ROM so I would say you can select 92 or 122 so yeah my advice is that let's see now you have 3G tweak if you want quick 3G like a bit of experience a bit of faster 3G or you want fast 3G so whatever you want you can select that stock value is the same whatever you have been using on the stock next now we have launcher selection you can have stock S3 launcher that is touch -based launcher or the Note 3 launcher so I'm going to go with Note 3 launcher because it has a cool folder feature next now you have uh, touches customization you can have stock customization that is 4x4 4 4x5 4, 4 or 5x6 which is node 3 configuration so that's going to give you small icons and uh, things like that so that's there if you're coming from a stock ROM if your touch with data has not been erased it will be present in there so you can delete touch with data or not delete touch with data so that's there let's go next now you have uh, personalize your ROM. Which theme do you want? You have Imperium theme. I guess that's what they uh, advertise in their uh, XDA page with circle battery and stuff like that. Uh, or you have Samsung theme. I'm going to go with Imperium home screen lost room wallpaper this time. So that's a wallpaper selection. So yeah, you have wallpaper selection here. You can select whatever you want. Next. 
Nexus 5 wallpaper. Do you want Nexus 5 wallpaper or not? Uh, if you select yes, it will be installed to SD card Imperium folder and you can manually go and select those. You want, what, what, what do you want as the Android system app icons like phone, uh, settings, etc. You'd want, uh, Nexus 5 or Stock S3. I'm going with Stock S3. You have a font. What font do you want? Install Stock, uh, font for S3. Roboto contents which was in 4.3 or the KitKat 4.4.2 Roboto contents. Whatever you want, I'm going with 4.4. Now you have choice for music player. You have Stock S3, Apollo, Google Play Music or no music player at all if you want to install custom music player like uh, Power Amp or whatever. So I'm going with Stock S3 because well, you do need a <laughs> backup, right? So choose sound mode. You can have Stock Samsung. PureX Audio, Megabus for S3, V2, Viper for Audio or AIO Audio Mod with Viper for Audio. So whatever you want. My suggestion, I always select Viper for Audio for audio settings because it gives us a huge amount of customization and things like that. I'm going to try IO with because it does have a Viper for Audio. This is a modification with that. So I'm going to go with that. Now, system sound type. You have stock S3 sounds, S4 sounds, or Nexus 5 sounds. I'm going with stock S4 sounds. Let's go next. Keyboard. What keyboard do you want? S3 keyboard with the small keyboard, or the Note 3 keyboard with the um, else other things. Uh, secondary symbol. Yes, I want secondary symbol. Do you want to install other keyboard? No, I don't want to install other keyboard. None. Next. So camera app, do you want S3 camera app, Note 2 camera app, or uh, and, or or and, uh, the KitKat camera. So I'm going to go with S3 camera with KitKat, no, I don't want the KitKat camera. So get, let's go. Samsung gallery, S3 gallery or S4 gallery, again, a choice, I'm going with S4 gallery, next. Clock app, S3 stock, S3 clock app, or Android 4.4.2 latest clock app. I'm going with stock S3. Calculator app also you have the ability to choose. So stock S3 there. You have the ability to choose the uh, CRD effect that is the lock screen effect. So when you lock the screen will it have CRD off or nothing just um, blank. I'm going with blank. I'm not much of a huge fan of CRD effect. Long press menu to kill app. Yes or no. I'm going with no. Hide SMS from call log. Okay, that uh, is the function. It, it, it's an annoying thing that the all, whatever SMS you send to a person, it appears in the call log. So if you want that or not, uh, you can select. If you want to hide it, you can select yes and go. Stock browser or Google Chrome browser? I'm going to go with stock browser. This is pop-up browser. Do you want pop-up browser from Note 2? Yes, I want it. Now, boot animation. If you want to enable or disable it altogether, you can have that. You do ha even have the ability to choose the boot animation here. You can select Imperium boot animation or the stock Samsung one with the Samsung logo. So I'm going to go with Moded Imperium. Now we have a bunch of uh, blotware av uh, available here. So I'm going to select all of the blotware. Right? Because, yeah, I'm much of a fan of, it does have gear support if you are planning to use uh, gear, that is the Galaxy Gear, so if you might want to use that, so, yeah. You have all these options. You can, if you want to, you can select this if you don't want to just uh, select none of it and just go on. If you are looking for a blotware free ROM, you can have it with this because uh, the Aroma install is such, so yes. Now, inverted Dropbox, no, I want the normal one. Email app, stock is 3. My files, I want Note 3 style my files. That's something which I like because of the tabbed interface. Data apps, that is uh, user apps, whichever you want to install. I'm going to install ES File Explorer. And yeah, that's it. Next. You have widgets. What all widgets do you want? You have all these widgets which are installable. These are considered blockware, so yeah. If you don't want blockware, don't install them. These are AccuWeather widget. Which type of AccuWeather widget do you want? Uh, stock S3 AccuWeather, S3 modded AccuWeather, S4 full transparent S4 or HTC styled 
Accuata. So I'm going with full transparent S4 because I like that. Now you have clock widget style, analog, digital S3 style, digital S4, analog and digital S3 or analog S3 and digital S4. So uh, I would like to have all of them. <laughs> now the data backup. If you're coming from a Samsung uh, ROM, if you have used a Samsung ROM, you might have a backup of it, right? So you can select what all you have backup of. So you can select install for these. So that's pretty cool. Next. G apps. What all G apps do you want? And you have inverted G apps too. If you want inverted, just select S. Yes for every one of these. I'm not. I don't want uh, inverted G apps. Now we are. We are at the modem selection page. Don't get confused. You don't see a don't select modem, right? But you have the option to not flash any modem because uh, you can select any one of the modem. This uses MK6. The the firmware is MK6, so you do have the MK6 modem also. If you have been previously to a really old ROM, don't select anything. For that, you can select any of them. Click Next. It displays that uh, the MK6 modem changes the FS partition. If you install this modem, you can't use older modems, right? So if you don't want modem support, just select No. That's the best way I would say because. Uh, it kind of gets in your head, so yeah. Let's see ne next, and then install. Then you have whatever you have chosen. So I'm going to install it again. So that is the installation guide for Imperium ROM V21. I uh, hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.